what's up my shining stars i hope you're shining bright not letting anybody dim that light you already know what's up but just for a quick reminder your light is you it's all you it is a, a gift it is beautiful it is uh you're anointed you are appointed because you have this gift if you have this gift that is a um, indication that you are anointed, you are appointed, you are chosen in some type of way, you are a light worker in some type of way. Everybody don't have that light to shine. So shine, shine it bright. Never let anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so wonderful. You're so blessed. Thank you for all the love, the support, the sh um, the emojis, the comments, the likes. Thank you for all that you do for me. All right. To my new subscribers, we're going to rock this thing. We're going to do it step by step. We're going to do it together. So thank you for clicking that subscribe button, right? I'm, I will not let you down, all right? For my energy exchange. Yep. For all of you that have donated to this channel, tip me, um, super chat me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What you sow into this channel, you shall reap, all right? 10 time fold, 20, 30, 100 fold, right back at you, all right? You shall reap it, all right? So, on the flip side, for those of you that's clicking on this reading, to find out if your black magic work, if your evil eye work, if what you're doing is working, if I'm stuck, if I'm broke, busted, and disgusted, if uh, uh, I'm depressed, delusional, or confused, it didn't work, okay? And on top of that, I return it right back unto you. So you need to look at your situation and make sure you straight. And stop focusing on me because I'm straight on this end. And even if I wasn't, even if I was, well, even, even if I was a little bit touched, I already know what I got to do. I can transmute. I will be fine. What about you? Can you? So whatever is getting ready to be sent back to you, can you transmute it? Can you turn that around? Can you turn the dynamics of your situation around? I think not. So it will behoove you to leave me alone, leave my channel alone, because every day that you get up and you do that ritual, every day that you get up and that you send that evil eye, every day that, that my picture is on your altar, is every day that's that you dig in your own hole, you dig in your own grave, and you you're you're cursing your own children, children's children, and your bloodline. It is so, so be it in our shade. All right, so we are honored to sign of Capricorn. Bam, there it is, Capricorn. All right, so Capricorn, what I got going on today and what I asked Spirit, and let me put it over here. I asked Spirit about the karmic, okay? Now, let me explain to you what karmic mean right quick on this channel we're not getting ready to bash we're not getting ready to uh run them down we're not getting even though they did they did us wrong see because i got karmics too even though i'm not telling you to do nothing that i'm not doing so karmics that came into our lives, came into our lives to teach us something. We signed up for these particular karmics to come into our lives. How you know that these particular people came into your life and you signed off on it, <laughs> but you just forgot. 
How you know is because how strong the relationship is, how deep the relationship is, how it changed your whole way of thinking, how it had you stuck or had you thinking somebody was the be all end all, how it was just something you just couldn't let go of right off. It changed your personality. It changed who you who you were. And then now it changed who you are. See, you came out when you came out of this karmic situation, you came out of being a better version of yourself. But while you were in it, you were learning. You were learning things about you. You were learning how beautiful you are through this relationship, through this friendship, through this a uh, neighborhood, uh, it could be a neighbor, it could be a co-worker, it could be anybody, it could be a family member. Anybody can be a karmic. This same, um, okay, yeah, but anyway, so what I asked was the karmic, your karmic, what is their next move? Are you prepared for this test? Because we already know what I just what I just said was the karmic is a learning. It's not some. It's not someone that or it's not someone that you're supposed to stay with. It's not someone that you're supposed to live. It's not a lifetime relationship. You're supposed to learn the lesson and move on. But the thing is that one person can learn the lesson, but the next per, the the other person. Uh, can't let go or it it could be that it was a karmic relationship both people learn their lessons and they move on it depends on who and what but this is what we're going to talk about today all right we're talking about the karmic the person who taught you the most valuable lesson there is and that's self-love you learned the lesson but I'm tapping into the karmic who has not learned their lessons, are not willing to learn their lessons, not willing to go through the process, don't know how to go through the process, is comfortable being a victim, is comfortable projecting on to another individual, is comfortable blaming someone else, is wanting to pull somebody back in to where they are because they're stuck. So they want to pull the uh, the other. They want to pull the pro, uh, pro, protect it back in. And if you're on my channel, you should know what project it is and protect it. And if you if you're new, project it is someone who's projecting their negativity, their childhood traumas, their 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 uh, abuse. Uh, uh, they're projecting all of their wounds onto another individual. The protected is the person who is was in the relationship with this person and learned their lessons, learned that self, uh, self love is more valuable than sitting in a vicious cycle of hurt, pain, and confusion with an individual that's not worth it. So the protected moved on. And because they moved on, they receive instant protection from this individual. Okay? That's it in a nutshell. What I got for you today is the karmic's next move. Now, we're not bashing the karmic. We just, you need to know what their next move is. Because they're not healed. They're not going through any healing. They have made up their mind that they're going to target you, they're going to bully you, they're going to pull you back in some type of way because they cannot fathom you moving on without them. They can't fathom you going on to success and having love and 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 um and you moving on to having a better life without them because they it's 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 a a it is a the way the way this person is thinking is so is so I can't even think of the word the right word the way they they think is so off kilter it's so unbalanced and it don't make any sense um I want to get into the reading but this person thinking it need to be corrected if this is you that's projecting onto another individual you don't want them to move on you don't want them to 
to to to uh be happy because you're not happy let me get you to understand something you wrong and you dead wrong because you made it you you only can control you you came in this world yeah you you came in this world with the uh with the contract to be a karmic in this relationship okay both of you are karmic to each other however you also making the decision this karmic contract is not forever it's not forever it was intended for you and this individual to separate to learn the lessons and to move on in two different directions you not let new you not wanting this person to move on without you it's never going to work that's never going to happen this person will move on this person will have a beautiful life this person will have a family children a good job home everything that they signed off for you are making, but you, on the other hand, is making the decision that you don't want to learn the lesson. So if you don't want to learn the lesson, you don't want to put in the work, you don't want to heal childhood traumas, you don't want to let go of abuse, you don't want to do anything but keep holding on to somebody else because your ego and pride is affected because this person has moved on from you and is getting ready to go on to bigger and better things. And that's what they supposed to do. Because if the shoe was on the other foot. And you were able to move on. Wouldn't you want to move on? Without somebody. Chasing your coattail. See. What you trying to do. Is not going to work. And it's going to be ineffective. Because of. <laughs> Because it doesn't have any, it, it's not warranted. How you, and I fit you where you get in, because it could be you, Capricorn, or it could be the cross watcher, or anybody that's sitting, that's uh, clicked on this reading. You decide not to do the work. This person learned the lesson and decided to do more work. They decided to do more work. They decided to work on their purpose and their destiny. That's what I mean by more work. They're not sitting around moping and sorrow and pain and, and uh, projecting and victim mentality. Woe is me. Everybody leave me. And everybody, don't nobody love me. No, don't nobody. If you believe that, then it's true. Because don't no, can't nobody love you because you don't love yourself. So on to the reading. If that's you, that's your, that's your message. You need to take that message. You need to rewind, go back to the beginning and hear this message again so you can understand that whatever you're doing, it's not going to work. You have a responsibility to love yourself, to learn your lessons, to be a better version of yourself. And this particular person, that's not their responsibility to make you happy. That's not their responsibility to take on your childhood traumas and your abuse. It's not. That's your responsibility. And until you own up to that, accept that and deal with it, you're going to be right there where you are, stuck. Why? Watching this person move forward because you have no power and no authority over this particular person. So, the question is, the karmic, what is their next move? Their, their next move is to uh, try to get you to come off your guard. So right now, you're defensive. You're, def you're, you're armed. You got the sword up. Anybody come to you, they're going to, if they don't come right, they're going to get cut. If anybody come near you, anybody come with any foolery, they're going to be blocked. If anybody come around you, they lying and going on. They're going to be unheard. You're going to walk away. You're not putting up with people, places, and things that's not coming to you authentic, authentically. And they're not coming with the truth. They're not coming with clarity. They're not putting it, they're not being their true authentic self and telling the truth about the situation as a whole. 
Because at this point, you can see right through people. At this point, you can see what's the truth and what's not the truth. You what you want them to tell the truth. You want them to be honorable and 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 and, and led with integrity. So if they're not, the sword comes down. But what this person's next move is, they're gonna do anything they can. That means they're coming. They're gonna come towards you, call you, write you. Uh, say whatever they think they need to say to get your defenses to come down because right now you're very defensive. You're defending your position. You're on guard because you already know people, places, and things is coming at you. They, they're targeting you. They're bullying you. You got people that's doing things behind the scenes and you may not have the faces. You may not uh, know who what their names is, but you know the energy. So you feel the energy. You feel them doing whatever they're doing behind your back. So you got your defenses up. And you're not taking no, you're not taking no from mess from nobody, right? So that's their next move. Overall, that is their next move. Okay, so um be just a disclaimer. You hear the heater in the background? Just disregard, okay? Just disregard, because that's the heater blowing, and I'ma speak up. Hopefully you can hear me really well like you usually do. All right, so that is it. Defensive, they want you defenseless so they can come in and maneuver in back into your life. But I don't think that's going to happen. That's an illusion in their head because the guard that I see, the person that I see, uh-uh. Their beauty, they're going to come in and try to not only get you to be defensive, uh, they want you to be defenseless, they want, they're trying to attack your beauty. Their next thing is to attack your beauty. Beauty spells, um, they want to try to get you to... Um, be not so attractive people not to be so attracted to you not to, for you to get so much attention they're trying to cut some of that attention out some of this some of these you know people coming towards you they want you they want love on the brain they want you to think about them they want you to be in love with them again they want to try to send this energy out to you so you can not be so confident and that you can come in and, and um, be back in love with them, that you will run them down, that you will chase them again, that you would just love and have love and have them on your brain all the time like you used to be. Or, you know, when you was in love with them, when things was good, when you were... Um, not um you didn't you didn't see your self-worth you didn't see your value you didn't see that the, you know that this person was taking advantage of you but now you know who you are you have your self-worth your value in check and the love that you have you have for that this person is not in the void you know it, it it doesn't matter because you have moved on okay other characteristic other things here so, don't, so they want you defenseless. They want you to think about them. They want you to chase them. They want you to be in love with them again. And they want to um, attack your beauty so you're not confident, so people are not attracted to you, so you don't get so much attention. All right. So other things here. This per, um, age. The age demographics of this person could be 30 to 40, but it really doesn't have to be. It could be any age, right? Um, they're also using sexual magic. So just know that if you are feeling at, um, you normally don't think about sex, you normally not into all of that, you celibate, you just keeping your mind on what it is and you being focused and you just out of nowhere, just keep on thinking about sex and, um, and all that, just know where it's coming from. This is somebody trying to t attack your sexual, your sacral chakra. They want to have sex with you. This person may be sending you sexual magic because they want to want you to think about them. 
They want you to chase them. They want you to want them uh, uh, fall in love with them again. Uh, and, and now they want to attack, want you to uh, think about them sexually so you could come back and chase them and want them and uh, want to dwell with them sexually. So they're doing magic so you can try to think about them and try to come in contact with them and try to get um, in a lustful way. Because that's the way they that's the way they thinking about you. They thinking about you in a lustful way. They want you in a lustful way, but they um, they will not come because you have that guard up. So they're trying to find different ways. So these are this is these are different ways that your karmic, the karmic, that has not learned their lessons, do not want to learn their lessons, want to pull you back in pull you back in because you have moved on and they are trying to get you to come back in so you could be stuck with them they want to be stuck they are comfortable being stuck they don't want to learn their lessons they don't want to do anything about being stuck in this vicious cycle that they're in they just want what they want and they want what they want from you and you're no longer giving it so sexual magic didn't I talk about victim mentality? This person has a victim mentality. They're projecting all of their negativity, all that, all of their chaos, confusion, um, all the things that they're think they're projecting all of their issues onto you and fit you where it get in. This right here, you need to know about that because if you uh, are moving forward with your life and then all of a sudden. You keep you feel so sad and you feel like so much sorrow and so much things and you have nothing to feel you have no reason to feel that way that's somebody's projecting they're projecting their sadness they're projecting their um uh their issues and uh depression and all of that they're projecting these things off onto you they're not your issue it's not your issue. You need to check your thoughts and look at your surroundings to see if that's what you're feeling is what it is that's actually going on around you. If it's not, it's not your stuff and you need to let it go and release it. Okay, somebody's shocked. Somebody is shocked about you, shocked about what you're doing, shocked that you've moved on, shocked that you have not contacted them, shocked that you have um, really meant it this time. Maybe in the past you kept going back, you will come back to them, you will, you will allow them to come back in and use you and drain you and take all your energy back because this relationship, this situationship, this karmic relationship would have had a deep connection, very deep. Um, it was hard to let go, hard to move forward. But once you did, the finally did, you did it. And you're not, you got your guard up and you're not going back. And this person is shocked. Not only are they shocked, they're shook because they're trying to figure out, oh my God, when is she coming back? When is he coming back? Are they ever going to come back? Okay. We got a few more things here. We got a message here. Um, I'm never going to give up on our love. You mean the world to me. So this person is wanting, this person feels like what you guys had was love. Okay. But if at the beginning, it probably was love, but then it turned karmic, it turned toxic. So it's no longer love anymore. And that's why when you walked away, you had to walk away for your sanity. You had to walk away so you could be able to um, be able to move forward, think straight, be able to gain the things that you are supposed to gain in this lifetime. You had to let go of this person so you can live your best life. Your best life was not with this person. It's your, your best life is outside of this relationship. And when you learned that lesson and you moved on, things start happening. Things start opening up for you. Okay. And so the message is this person is still in that, in the past, their head is in, still in the past. Their thoughts are still in the past. They still trying to reel you in. They still, um, they're unbalanced. They're unkiltered. They, they, they are not thinking in the realms of, of this reality. They're not, they're, they're not thinking straight. They keep saying they're going to keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on with what? 
there's nobody to keep on with when the, the person, the individual has already walked away and moved on. So this is an, this is an illusion that they're, they're, they are in. Their mind is full of illusions and fantasies of woulda, coulda, shouldas. Okay, a sidebar. You got a family member. So some of you may have a, a karmic fam. This could be a karmic family member that you're dealing with. Okay, um, not with the sexual magic, but you know what I mean. Beside, uh, these are just fitted in where it get in. Okay, a family member paid a tarot reader big money. The, the family member paid the tarot reader big money because the family member wanted to know information about you. They wanted to know information. They wanted to know uh, were you in a relationship, what was going on with you, because not only do you have your guard up, you moving in silence. You're not letting people know who, what, who, who you, what you're doing, uh, uh, what your thoughts are, what your goals are, what your dreams are. You're moving in silence. So, uh, okay. So they pay big money because they want you, you they don't, they, you won't let, you won't, it's something that's going on with you. Um, it's something that's going on with you that they want to know. Somebody's calling. Somebody wants to call you. Somebody wants to call you. Somebody's calling. So anyway, uh, big money. They wanted information on you. But the thing is, this tarot reader did not tell them the, the right information. This tarot reader couldn't even um, find out information. They lied to this person, took their money, and told them false information. Because it says, tarot reader lied to this person and told them what they wanted to hear. It took their money. But what it is, you're protected. The information that, they, that they're that they longing, that they, they want, to, want to get, spirit is not going to allow this person to... Um, to um yeah so so spirit won't allow this to happen i gotta go because <laughs> this person i gonna stop calling okay so with that is saying this is the end of the reading um i hope you got something out of it go ahead and um hit the uh comments Hit the uh, uh, the emojis, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, just thumbs the channel. Uh, 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 <laughs> just thumbs the channel. Share, 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 subscribe. It, uh, go to the description box. All of my information is there. It's very, very important, guys, for the notifications because um, they have YouTube is 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 acting is is with the note with the notification so make sure that if you haven't heard from me check um check to see if i have put out any content um but to hit the notification hit it click it and then re-click it to see if that will work okay um with all of that social media um click on the social media don't just click on it read it go through it see if you got a message in there even though, uh, even the, my videos, all of my content is timeless. So I see some of you have been going through some of my old videos and it's in, and it resonate. So yeah, so do that. I'm sending love. I'm sending healing your way. And Trinity is out.